So, so John, again, today we're talking about business credit, and I know that when we first met, right, you were telling me that you had got your business credit aligned to start selling stuff to the government. Can you tell them about that? Like, what did you do, and like, what was the process like for you? So, understanding credit and business credit, the whole process of how to set that up, when I first met Eric, and he was like, the first thing you need to do is start a business, the process the first thing I did once I started registered with SunBiz and with and received my EIN number was I registered with Duns and Bradstreet. And how Eric always talks about registering with Sam and you have to be registered with Sam. Before you can even register with Sam, you have to be registered with Duns. You gotta have a Duns number. So that's like one of the first steps is, is registering with Duns and Bradstreet and being able to get the uh, Duns number from them. Okay, but you actually, you were approved for some credit early on. Yes. Okay, how did that come about? Well, it took about, it was, it was a little bit less than two years. I was actually approved with a, a line of credit, a business line of credit, and a few credit cards with Regions Bank. Um, you got, the process is, can be, you can get in the SunPass lane of building business credit if you do have good personal credit. Uh, okay. Anything 700 or better, it, it makes it really easier to start getting business loans. Okay. But because I know the process, I was able to set up and establish trade lines with my business and already kind of have a Paydex score and have a score register with Experian within a, a shorter period of time than it would take most people because they don't know how to really go about setting it up and making sure that all the information that's in Experian, Equifax, and Duns and Bradstreet's databases, the information that you're giving to the lenders when they go and search for you and okay. see if you have a good credit score. Okay, so can we walk you through that process of what did you do, how did we do that? Sure, sure, sure. So we're not here to have secrets, John. No, no, I, I understand. <laughs> we're not uh, here to have secrets. The People most important would be Duns and Bradstreet. Um, okay, so I get my Duns and Bradstreet, then what do I do next? Well, the first thing you would get your register with Duns and Bradstreet and you create a profile with Duns and Bradstreet. Okay. And you make sure all that information that's in Duns and Bradstreet is the same as it is with in the state of Florida, SunBiz, okay, or and with the IRS, you make sure that all the information is in line. It's exactly the same. If it's ink, it's ink. Okay. If it's LLC, it's LLC. The way you spell it, the abbreviations. How if you if you abbreviate anything, that's how it needs to be everywhere. Okay. So we got to match up. Make sure it matches up. Identical. The addresses have to be a, the same everywhere. If it's Cutler Bay, Florida, yep. it needs to be Cutler Bay, Florida, not Miami, Florida. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, because some people, we take that for granted. Granted. Yeah, we'll take and say, okay, I live in Ghouls, and we'll put Ghouls instead of so Miami. So everything, ha it, it, it doesn't, when I say it has to be, that's just what makes it easier, because when you go to the lender and you put down on your application, that's what they're searching you by. Okay. So by that information being in the credit reporting database, it makes it easier for them to approve you. Okay, okay. All right, so we do that. So now we match up our names and everything like that. Okay, now what's next? So once you're in Duns and Bradstreet, then you need to start establishing trade lines by doing business with certain companies that report that business to Duns and Bradstreet. But there's only a few. Uline, Quill, Granger. There's a one more that I'm, I can't think of right now, but if you start building trade lines with Uline and Quill, if you get anywhere from three to five trade lines, you establish a Paydex score. Right. And then the Paydex score is basically like your FICO score. Okay. Once you have established that, then you can start establishing profiles with companies that report to not only Duns and Bradstreet, but Equifax. Okay. And so we have to work with companies who are reporting the, to the credit bureaus. Yes. How do we find those companies? a lot of research it's not really public information um you can always reach out to us credit 360 we do help people establish business credit but it, like i said earlier if if you set up an account with if you're a new company and you're trying to establish credit uline and quill uh will be the two easiest ones to establish a, a credit with and okay. then they'll report whatever you order okay so then would it be fair to say hey let's ask the people do they report your credit to the credit bureau is that okay the, question it, yes and you can ask that but the person you're talking to might not know uh, okay so but again we want to set up establish credit with creditors okay how does someone do that when they don't have credit you gotta work with the companies like uh, Uline and Quill because they'll take a new person with no credit no credit 
and okay, they so report. But see, like, if you were to say, okay, you can go to Office Depot, but if you don't have credit, they're going to pull your personal credit. Right. But okay. And the, what I was showing you right there is not using your personal credit. Okay, so John's suggestion is, again, so the first thing would be find companies who report the credit to who the report the business, business that you're doing with them to Duns and Brass. Okay, okay, all right. Because everybody, the reason why everybody doesn't do that, just like in personal credit, Capital One has to pay Equifax to report your information. Right. So a business has to report, has to pay to report your information to Duns and Bradstreet. It's not okay. cheap. So they rather not do it unless, the only majority of the time they might do it is if you don't pay them. Okay, so... Um, is it possible that you can get us a list of the ones that you know of? Like yes. you said, Uline. Yes, I can get you a list of like four or five. Okay, all right. So John's going to get us a list that. of like four or five. And then someone just mentioned in here Global Industrial as yes, well. Yes, Global Industrial Okay, is definitely one. All right, good. See, so we're all talking the same page. All right, so now you, you get those companies that report your stuff. Okay, and then what's next? That Once you've established a, a Paydex score with Duns & Bradstreet, then you can start building trade lines with companies like more of the gas companies, Shell, Texaco, okay. B-Track, they offer business accounts and a lot of them actually report to Equifax and Duns & Bradstreet. So now you're starting to establish a credit profile with Equifax. All right, now John, uh, someone asked a question, how long do I need to make purchases before I see my Paydex score? To get a Paydex score, you need three to five trade lines. Three to five trade lines can be three to five transactions with any company that reports. So you can have three transactions with Uline, uh, four transactions with Quill. That would be seven transactions reporting on your business trade line, reporting on your credit report. Because business credit goes by industry, not by the company. Gotcha. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So someone just posted in here, Quill, Uline, Crown, Office Supplies, and Granger. Office Supply. Oh, Office. What? Office office supplies but it's a company um suma office supplies suma office supplies suma office supplies and what was the company the industrial global yeah global industrial yep yeah okay. those are those are good ones okay all right um now the other thing is someone asked okay is it like tier one tier two tier three and so on meaning um tracy asked that question like is it so okay, we 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 get the our paydex score. Is there how do the paydex scores look? What does that so look like? So once you once a, a paydex score is, is anywhere from zero to a hundred. Okay. So this is the paydex score, and this is we I have some documents that we can share. I, I emailed those. So I don't know if you got them. Yeah, but I can't. It's not allowing me to pull this up on my screen. I'm sorry, I gotta be bootleg today. So here we're gonna show y'all. Let me see. Right there. Perfect. So your pay debt score is zero from 100, and it's de mostly determined if you pay your bills on time. Anything over an 80 is considered a 700 credit score. So as long as you pay your bills on time and you have anywhere from three to five trade lines, you'll establish a pay debt score. The only thing you can do after that is keep building on that pay debt score. And make okay. sure you pay your bills early. Okay. And then, so now we've established our pay debt score. For example, uh. The other company that I have that sells products to the government that I started working on after I met Eric, I have about six trade lines showing on Duns and Bradstreet. I have a 80 paydex for it. It's actually at 80. Okay. So I don't have a lot. Um, the highest trade line is about $5,000. Okay. Um, and I was able, with that and with my good personal credit and being set up with Experian and Equifax, I was able to establish a line of credit with Regions uh, and, and get a couple credit cards uh, with them. Nice, nice.